What's up, you guys? This is Stone Paxton. Welcome back to my channel. Stone Paxton Music and Life, Stone Paxton, the NPC connoisseur. And I am back to talk about the Akai, the NPC stems, man. Um, I'll get my hands on it soon. Um, but listen, man, let me tell you something. This is definitely going to change the game for producers. It's almost like Akai has stepped into the AI arena, you know what I mean? But to be able to do that on a standalone machine is something unheard of. So I'll say once again, Akai has done it again. Um, to all the people over at Akai, Andy Mack and the crew, this is incredible. This is going to change the game for all the creators, all the creative people. I'm looking forward to being able to utilize that in standalone mode to create some records um <clears throat> but it really really takes the the whole sky is a limit thing it takes it to a whole another level because you will literally be able to do anything you can imagine in standalone mode as well in the software mode so i'm excited about it um when i when i do uh get it i'm going to make sure that i go uh, deep with it because I'm excited. I want to use it on some of these new records that I'm working on. Um, I plan on taking some of these records that, that um, I have with Mila J and to rework these records with that and, and some of the records that Rufus Black and I are working on with um, uh, Salt and Pepper or Salt uh, or Pepper on their uh, projects, you know what I mean? Uh, collectively, the Salt and Pepper album project. I'm going to take some of those records that Rufus and I I've worked on and run those records uh, uh, through that and do some cool stuff, man. Because, like, you'll be able to take, I mean, just the sky. I, I don't want to talk too much about it because I want to be more creative when I show you how I'm going to use it. I don't know how other people are going to use it. I just know that I'm going to use it in the most amazing way. I mean, I use this machine in all of my Akai's, including the old one. I've always used them in a real creative way and in, in ways that most people don't use them. But check this out. This MPC stems is on a whole nother level. It has brought Akai into once again the AI arena. And man, I'm looking forward to, to just messing around with it and creating some, some amazing stuff, plugging my guitar into it, uh, plugging my drums into it and creating some new stuff, um, taking some old records from back in the day and, and reworking. And, and it's gonna be cool. Even some of my old records now, I'll be able to pull them up from CD and put them on there and pull things off of those old records that I like from back in the day that I felt like maybe I couldn't catch that same emotion, but I can go back and grab what I played on that and chords or guitar. And it was just something about maybe those records that I didn't want to replay it because I felt like it, it was an, it was an atmosphere I created. So I can, now I can go back and grab that and, and pop that into the now and then rework it. So I'm looking forward to the, uh, the Akai MPC stems. Um, this is exciting, you guys. Akai is giving us another great surprise. Uh, make sure you keep and stay tuned to my channel. And for all those that have been watching, make sure you click that bell to get all your notifications. Share my videos with all your friends. You know, you can go back to some of my old videos of me creating um, my five minute beat concept. is something that I created. Um, on YouTube that nobody was doing. I was the first one to do the five minute beat thing. I started doing that a long, long time ago. I haven't been doing it in a while, but that was something that I was doing. And then at the end, I would always play the track. That was something that I created. That was my whole model. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do some of those again. Um, I would wanna know if you can create on these machines. I would wanna hear people creating on these machines. I would wanna hear a variety of styles created on this machine. You know, I mean, I want I want to see if a person can use this machine um, like Babyface uses his his MPC, and he's always used it. Uh, Dallas Austin, uh, 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 Jermaine Dupri, uh, uh, and um, uh, uh, my boy uh, Rodney Jerkins, like you know, and tons of other people that use a Kai MPC, but they use it in a way, like I said, Roger Lynn when he first created the MPC. This thing was the MPC should be played like an instrument. So the way I use mine, I play it like I would play my piano. I play it like I would play my drums and I play it like I would play guitar. You gotta 
play the machine. You have to use it like an instrument. You know what I mean? Um, make sure you guys stay tuned for my next video, Stone Paxton University. Stone Paxton Music and Life and Stone Paxton, the NPC connoisseur, and I'm out. Catch me on the next video. But look, as soon as I get the NPC stems, I'm on it. Um, I'm supposed to be at NAMM. Doesn't look like I'm going to make it this year. I'm supposed to speak there, but there's so much going on with me right now. I'm not able to reschedule to get there and to speak and all kinds of other stuff. But anyway, March 2nd, I'll be performing in Philadelphia at the Cicely Tyson uh, Center. March the 2nd, me and my band, Philadelphia Cicely Tyson Center, March the 2nd, okay? All right, Stone Paxton University, Stone Paxton the NPC Connoisseur, Stone Paxton Music and Life, and I'm out. Thank you.